Up next, we were lucky enough to spend some time with the Western Sydney University Solar Car Team. They are the people who designed and built this cool whip. Pushing the limits of renewable energy, taking them across Australia and the world with nothing but clean, green energy. Competing in events like this, this, and this. On the other side of the break, you'll find out everything that goes into making a car like this and more about the cool tech used to get them driving thousands of kilometres without a drop of petrol. Hi, I'm Jonathan Green from Tejo, the place where Australians save time and money as they make the switch to renewable energy. Check out our website for more information. We are lucky enough to be standing here at the Western Sydney University's Kingswood campus to be chatting with Brad Natalini of the Western Sydney Solar Car Team. Brad, how are you? Very good, very good. So thank you for coming. Um, my name is Brad and I'm the team manager of the Western Sydney Solar Team. Our mission is to drive the shift towards the future of sustainable mobility and we aim to develop technology and people to take a stand in the inevitable shift. Awesome, awesome. Brad's been kind enough to offer some of his time today so we can learn about all the cool things they're doing here at the campus. Brad, can you tell us who's in the team? Uh, so the team consists of disciplines uh, ranging from mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, um, we have some nursing students in the team as well. Um, so yeah, it, it's multidisciplinary and it is mostly voluntary students. And can you tell us as well, when did the team start? Yeah, so the team started back in 2013 with four honor students and a budget of $500. Uh, fast forward to 2019, and we operated on a budget of just under a million uh, with about 22 active members. What events do you compete in? Yeah, so there's two major events. Uh, our first major event is the Bridgestone World Solar Challenge, which is 3,022 kilometers from Darwin all the way down to Adelaide. Uh, and in that race, our top placing position is sixth out of about 45 international teams. Uh, the other race we compete in is the American Solar Challenge. Um, we raced the last one back in 2018 and we came first over there. So we beat Michigan University's 18 year winning streak. Brad, how have you gone in previous events? Yeah, so in 2018, uh, we won the American Solar Challenge, which was awesome. Uh, in the Bridgestone World Solar Challenge, we've placed uh, 11th and we've also placed 6th. What is your budget and how does that compare to the other team's budgets? Yeah, so generally we'll run the race on uh, well under a million dollars uh, and comparative to international teams, uh, some of them are running within the tens of millions. What types of solar cells are used? Yeah, sure. So uh, up until 2019, our previous cars have been a silicon based solar cell. So like what you find on a standard household roof. Uh, in 2019, however, we used gallium arsenide solar cells. They're a space grade cell they're about 10 times more expensive than your silicon uh, cells, but they're also about 10% more efficient. So we're able to use less of them, shrink the size of the vehicle, um, center the driver, make a lighter car, better for aerodynamics. And... Can you tell us how much area the solar array covers? Yeah, so that is something that's regulated. Um, going back to the last set of regulations in the Bridgestone World Solar Challenge, if you're using a silicon array, um, you're allowed four square meters. If you're using gallium arsenide cells, um, which we did, you're allowed 2.64 meters squared. So Brad, can you tell us then, what is the output of the solar array? It's a 900 watt array, and over the course of the entire race, which is about four and a half days, it'll produce just over 31 kilowatt hours. How big is the battery? Yeah, so we custom make our own battery, uh, and it's 20 kilos worth of 18650 individual cells. Um, it produces about 5.135 kilowatt hours. Another question, what is the range of the battery? Um, so our battery pack is around 5% of what you'd find in a Tesla. Um, however, we can do about five to 600 kilometers on a single charge. So Brad, how does your battery compare to the battery in an electric vehicle? So this is a battery from a Nissan Leaf. It needs 192 of these to do about 350 kilometers on a single charge. 
This is one of the cell modules from our battery pack and we need just over 17 to do a little bit more than 500 kilometers worth of traveling. Brad, now tell us, what is the car actually made out of? Yeah, so our cars are mostly carbon fiber. Um, so the chassis, the shell um, are carbon. Uh, the suspension components are generally aluminum uh, and there is some you know, titanium in there for nuts and bolts and things like that. Now, how fast does the solar car go? Top speed of our most current car is about 130 kilometers an hour. Uh, and when we're on the race, our average cruising speed is around 90 kilometers an hour. Brad, you've been driving innovation in a hyper-technical space for a long time. That obviously comes at a cost. How have you been able to fund everything so far? And how can you continue to fund the team? Yeah, so um, we have a lot of partners um, that help out with the project in three main ways. So there's monetary support, there's in-kind, and there's technical advice. Um, so, you know, we've got Abigeldi, who's a big sponsor, um, Sydney Motorsport Park, who's also a big sponsor, and, you know, will give us track time. Um, so yeah, industry connections is, is key. Okay, Brad. So for potential partners and sponsors, how do they get in touch? Yeah, so we'll chuck a link in the video. Um, and you can also message me directly. Uh, my email is brad at solarcar.scam.westernsydney.edu.au. Thanks to Brad and everyone at the Western Sydney University Solar Car team for having us today and telling us about some of the amazing work they've been doing. For more information on the team and how you can support them so they can continue to represent Australia, we have included a link in the description below. If you're looking at solar or a battery for your home or business, speak to an energy expert at Teho today. Give us a call on 1300 22 92 92 or check out our website at www.teho.com.au. I'm Jonathan Green from Teho. Thanks for watching.